Hello. Hello. Oh, you're such a fluffy dog. Hi. You're so fluffy. No. You're so sweet. No. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I am going to be focusing mainly on my GP rotation because that is the first rotation that I have been on whilst in my fourth year of medical school. Um, I am also very tired because I have woken up at six to try and leave for my practice very soon. It takes about an hour to get there and I want to make sure that I'm on time. Now the GP rotation that I've been having in fourth year is a little different from the one that I had in third year in that this one is a lot more independent. I'm doing a lot more independent and observed consultations by a GP. I'm dealing with some more complicated histories. I've been on my placement now for a couple weeks. This is my third and final week. Um, and I have seen a lot of complicated stuff. Generally, the lay public opinion of what GPs do is very, um, how, do, how do I put this? The lay public think that GPs don't do much. Because if all you see is like a 10 minute GP appointment, then you can't really appreciate all the work that a GP does. Now that I've been at a practice for a while and seeing some complicated stuff, it's a lot of work and I have spent every single day coming back very tired. GP is in itself a bit of a strange specialty because it encompasses pretty much everything. As a general practitioner, you need to know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. There is a lot of the standard coughs, colds, like ear pain, Lots of like head and neck stuff in GP, but there's also very complicated mental health related conditions and there's also a lot of um, like the palliative stuff and continuing care stuff because once someone comes out of a hospital and they've had something happen to them It's the role of a GP to try and manage them within the community, which is a lot of work depending on what someone has come in from the hospital with. I do think I have a bit more respect for GPs now, considering I've seen all of the more complicated stuff. It's not like I didn't have respect for them before. I did, it's a very difficult job. But now I have more because it's quite taxing on your brain. I would love to talk more about my GP placement, but uh, I'm going to run late if I do so. So I will catch up with you once I have done my full day of GP, where I think I have a tutorial starting off and I think I'm with a doctor doing clinics. So hello and welcome. This is now 6 p.m. I have just come back from a very late finish from my GP rotation and I am absolutely shattered. This was a much longer day than I was expecting. So, I'm much more tired, but something interesting did happen, uh, which was very unique and very cool and very um, surprising. So this morning I was scheduled to have a tutorial. Um, during our placements we get allocated teaching um, from whoever is our placement provider. Um, and our GP lead gave us a tutorial, except this tutorial was very different. He decided to set up an escape room and do all escape room style stuff with the context of, um, well, uh, a specific heart condition. Looking at the prevention, looking at management, and looking at um, other different aspects of it. I don't want to give too much away because uh, apparently this is like the first time he's tried it, and apparently he's going to try it with other medical students. Um, and I found it really, really cool. It was very unique. I think I learned a lot of stuff. It was great fun. Um, and it was just very, very cool. Quite literally, it was very, very 
standard stereotypical escape room with all the locks and the codes and the abstract thinking. It was very fun, um, but it was all health related. Hence why it counted as a tutorial uh, instead of something fun that you pay to do. But in reality, I am paying to do this because, well, tuition fees are nine and a half grand. So maybe I did pay to do a uh, escape room today. My plan for the rest of this evening is to spend my time here in the university. I'm going to head to the co-op and get myself some food. Uh, and then I'm going to head into one of the libraries and do a bit of work for the next two to three hours, uh, doing some general revisions for uh, CCC, the module which I'm on, and doing some revision on GP conditions. <sighs> Although I don't know how much I'm gonna take in being this tired. This morning, I am not on placement. Um, I'm actually on a day off. My placement provider has given me something called an SREP day, which is a day where I have off placement to do um, my work for my research project that is part of my fourth year. I'm doing an audit or a um, quality improvement project on gestational diabetes. So I'm going to do a bit of work on that this morning and I'm also going to look over a literature review that I wrote, which I have to submit in like a month. It, I, I, I did it really early because I wanted to get all of the really boring stuff out of the way, um, but I think I'm just gonna go over that and make sure that's okay. And predominantly just do some work and do some studying. I do have a couple things that I might be interesting later today, although I haven't planned for any of them. So we'll see if they actually happen. He's a bit of a thief with food as well. Oh, Leaving <laughs> stuff out. Indeed. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's posing. Yeah. He's hungry. <laughs> Hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Cindy, come say hi. Come on. Hello. Hello. Hello! Oh, you're such a fluffy dog! Hi! <laughs> you're so fluffy! No! No! You're so sweet! 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 Hello! I'm gonna make you famous! Yeah, yeah, it's a good car. We, 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 Okay, let's go back to the I remember you talking about how transitioning into the medical school was different yeah. because you didn't realise how extremely different being a medical student was oh, compared to being a medical student. I think I said in our conversation, I went a bit like, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. When people used to say it was different here, and then I came to work here, and then say, and then hearing your experience, even that, you know, and, uh, I think that's what that was the that's so what year are you in? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's all brand new. So. Right, the main thing that I did want to show you today was the dogs, because I was very excited for that. They don't usually do pet therapy or any sort of like university-wide events, because the medical school is basically its own beast. So to see things come over from main uni and being used or applied in a med school way is kind of cool. Um, so I was happy about that. And the other thing that I'm doing today is I'm going to see a film or a play called A Little Place. I don't know anything about it. I've been invited to it um, with some friends and I've paid £20. So I guess I've got something to do this evening. I had no patience to see, nothing to hear about, but then kind of randomly we were just chatting to him and then they're... Don't throw me a line. 
Assets series. Well, asset series. Now, as you can tell, it is the morning. I am dressed in a nice shirt uh, because I have to go to my GP. I have to leave in about two minutes because um, it is like half seven. Not even that, just about half seven. Uh, and I've got my presentation to do at the end of the day, which I still haven't fully done. Um, thankfully, I do have a lunch break of about two hours. So I'm gonna try and finish it off then and practice it then so it can be signed off then. Good evening everyone. It is now the end of the day. I have officially passed my GP placement and got some feedback from my GP supervisor, which was useful. Um, I immediately went to an MSRC meeting, which, uh, because it is the first Thursday of the month, I think it's Thursday, um, it's in person. Press that again to stop recording. So now I've turned it on, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Well, actually, this camera quality is quite nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> MSRC meeting. Hmm? Uh, I bought it with money and I kept it in my bag. Did you know Nafi is a massive med school vlogger? Like, yeah. he's the biggest in the world. Hostel women's cancer survey once. So, yeah, I, I used to work Yeah, I think I think Daniel Ben used to host the Worsleys on a Friday. That's fine, yeah. Um, the second action was... So I went there, had some food, and I did stuff in the meeting. Immediately came back here and realised that I am fully shattered. I spent... It's a, it's a full day of placement. Every day I have been feeling completely wiped from placement. I have not been consistently going to the gym. My diet has been suffering a little bit. And... Overall, I just feel kind of there, and I feel slightly delirious. I think my brain is just not functioning, which is why I'm going to try and give myself this weekend, or at least part of this weekend, off um, from doing work. Although well, I don't even know if that's possible. Oh my god, I have so much work to do. Of all of the placements that you have in fourth year, GP or CCC and GP part of it is probably the second least taxing. Overall, the general consensus is that psychiatry is the least taxing um, with GP as second. I do not feel like that is true anymore. Um, GP was incredibly tiring. Seeing all the patients, traveling there and back, and making sure that your brain is taking in all of the things that your brain should be taking in when on placement and practicing all of the things that you need to be doing, especially in fourth year, because this is the year that you are effectively supposed to be a doctor by the end of. At the end of fourth year, you need to know everything that a, well, foundation doctor should know. You may not be completely good at everything, but you should know everything. And um, that is what I am aiming for. I am aiming to be a good doctor. I am aiming to be a doctor who knows what they're doing, is capable of doing what they know, and is able to manage, delegate, and lead effectively. Because it, it's all part of being a good doctor. And... It's going to be difficult, but I will try and do it. Hello and welcome to the end of my GP placement. Uh, I did go in this morning, uh, but I only went in for two hours because the GP had to leave early and some patients uh, didn't want us within the consultation. So we just left quite early, uh, which is good because it's the end of the week and I now get to do, well, stuff. And by that, of course, I meant being in the library for three hours to do revision. I don't know what I said earlier, that might have not made any sense. 